We are less than 48 hours from the Oscars. The award show airs right here on your ABC Action News station tomorrow night. A lot of people, myself included, will be watching from home, maybe from an Oscars party. Here with Dean Hurst, director of Spirits from Burns Steakhouse. Dean, thank you so much for being here. I'm happy to be here, Ashley. And you're going to show us a couple different uh, concoctions with, with your own twist on them. And I want to start with uh, something that can be for the masses. You know, if you are having an Oscars party, something that could, you know, a lot of people could enjoy. Punch. So the basic recipe is, um, and I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but what I did is just have uh, six ounces of white sugar and then uh, fresh lemon peel. So you have to take a vegetable peel and take the lemon peels right off of that. And what happens is all the oils from the oil, the peels go right into the sugar. Oh, nice. It so, just sucks it right up. Yes. Yeah, so from that base, then we would add uh, a little fresh lemon juice, about four or five cups of water, and a liter of your favorite booze or a combination of them. So usually cognac is in the punch, but sure. you could use two different kinds of rum or an Irish whiskey. And then from there, you can modify it also with fresh fruits or a little soda water. You can make it non-alcoholic and use like cranberry juice, which is kind of a neutral ingredient, but sure. then it picks up the sweet and sour of the, of the lemon and the, the so sugar. So several ways to take kind of this classic punch recipe, but give it your own twist and, and modify it a little bit for, you know, what will please the crowd. That's the fun of cooking. It's like once a chef understands what's in the pantry, then they can experiment. So if you have le leftover bottles of booze here and there, the punch is a very forgiving recipe, so you can kind of play around. There you go. I want to talk about, to another uh, cocktail that you're saying could be served, you know, individually rather than from a large punch bowl. Tell me about this. Okay, so this is the sour. So the sour is a basic 2-1-1 recipe, so two parts liquor, one part sweet, one part sour. And then you can modify it with fresh fruits. And I chose raspberries for today, although strawberry, strawberries are in season, peaches, sure. things like that. But you always have to take into consideration the sweetness level, the tartness level of the fruit. And raspberries tend to be kind of neutral. They're sweet and sour. Sure. So in adding it to it, I don't really have to adjust the recipe any, at, all, at all. So I can just muddle those up. Do you want me to make one for sure. you? Or? Uh, go for it. You can make one for me. I know you me. can't try it, but, uh, <laughs> you know. Not going to try it this morning. But speaking of that, there are ways that you can make these drinks, of course, non-alcoholic, because there's so much flavor that comes through anyhow, correct? Definitely, yes. Yeah. So like I mentioned, cranberry juice. Cranberry juice is tart and somewhat sweet, like a cranberry cocktail. Right. So you can kind of take that same recipe and by using the cranberry instead of the alcohol it helps the ice dilute so then you can actually pour that out and no one to be the wiser and it's not an alcohol cocktail. Sure as you're kind of mixing one of these up I want you to kind of tell me where I can find these recipes and more from you know your awesome mixologist at Burns. Uh, th there are places where we can find all kinds of recipes. Where, where is that? Uh, well, uh, your local bookstore, always. I love books. I'm constantly reading books. I'm going to muddle this while we talk. There are entire books, by the way, as you're hearing me <laughs> tell you, with these recipes. Oh, there's, just there's one along. called Punch. Dave Wondrich wrote a book all about the history of Punch, which is like over 400 years of history. So you take a look at things like that, or just a simple Google search to look up Oscar party cocktails or sure. party cocktails, things like that. Now, maybe um, if you don't want to have your Oscar party at your home uh, and you want to just let the pros mix these drinks up for you, anything special, uh, Burns, the Epicurean, you know, other kind of places in, in South Tampa that you're, you're mixed in with are, are doing special for the Oscars? Um, not so much for the Oscars because it is a very specific thing and that would mean rewriting a whole menu just for that one night and then having to we throw things away and we hate that. So sure. We try to stick to our, our, our themes, but every once in a while we have some with names. Sure. You know, I mean, even if there's the not a spe specific theme, that's just a great place to go have dinner maybe before <laughs> you watch the Oscars from Most from your definitely, home yeah. Enjoy these beautiful cocktails. And as you're finishing up here, I want to remind everyone ABC Action News is your station for the Oscars. We have a lot of coverage tomorrow night. Shake it up. There you go. <laughs> The important Again. thing is a double strain. I didn't mean to cut you off, but it's one thing I wanted to throw out there. No worries. So That's an important reminder. You don't want to mess up this cocktail. We right? want to get those little bits of raspberry out of there, so we'll close off with this pretty. That looks beautiful. We have to end on this note because it does look so beautiful. I'm going to get that promptly over to John Thomas <laughs> uh, as we send it back over to John and Bill now. Dean, thank you so much for being oh, here. My pleasure. Thank you.